For people who use JavaScript in web development, Node.js is an obvious choice for backend development. But where do you learn? Of course you can go to the documentation, but that's not going to help you really learn from the ground up. Well, I've done a ton of studying because I want to use Node.js in my work. So let me go ahead and show you all the resources that I found and uh, which ones are the best for you. Let's do it. Of course you should go ahead and check out Node.js documentation, but when you want to start, this is probably not the best place to go. Still, I would recommend going through this or consulting this whenever you have a question about a specific thing uh, within Node.js, check out the documentation, and even if you're not, go through it, but I would not start here. I would actually start with this course. Learn and Understand Node.js by Tony Alicia is amazing. He's a great teacher and he has another course on just plain JavaScript if you need to get your head around that. But he really goes into depth. He talks about, you know, the the beginnings of Node.js and how it runs off of uh, like uh, the Chrome uh, V8 engine and C++. He just goes so deep and it's so simple. He has a, a unique way of um, introducing new terms and new topics with his big word alert. So definitely get this. It's freaking awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and see what they have in this course actually. Uh, here's Tony. He's an awesome guy. If you're watching this, Tony, which I doubt, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for helping me out with this stuff. It is a long course. It is really in depth too. Let's see, how long is this course? Give us just a moment here. It is 13 hours. Definitely a great way to get started. And I watched it again and learned even more about Node.js by going through this. Now Express goes hand in hand with Node. Express is a way to like abstract away a lot of these uh, repetitive tasks, this grunt work. So a book with Express in Action and Node.js is, is a great way to get started. There are a bunch of other courses as well, but this is a book that I use. Now you have to look out because these things can get outdated pretty quickly. So see if there's a newer version or something if you're watching this farther in the future or, you know, just in general. You know, just, just do that with his books because they can get outdated really fast. The complete Node.js developers course by Andrew Mead is is comprehensive. It's not as well uh, presented as Anthony's class, but it will get you up and running. It is very thorough, uh, but I feel like Andrew here can speed through a lot of stuff. Still, you know, it's, it's a great course. Let's see, it was uh, 26 hours. You'll definitely learn something about Node.js if you go through here. Uh, you'll make a chat app and multiple things. At the time, I didn't understand it. Um, it was because I didn't have enough background. And if you go through, you know, multiple uh, things, like when you've been through some basic Node.js stuff, I would recommend going to the documentation of Node.js and actually looking up what different things do. And when you've done some stuff with Express, also check out the Express documentation as well. That's what I'm currently in the middle of because I'm making a... Um, it's like an online checkout form, but you have to select an option and you use Express to uh, fire off a request with Ajax. And, um, you know, I, I need to look these things up and you will too. And this is where you're going to probably find a lot of your learning once you have that basic, you know, foundation. So definitely look at these. Um, look at a bunch of Express courses. Uh, but those two, the Node.js here, excuse me, the Node.js course with An Anthony Alicia, I believe, has Express in here, as well as, yep, there's a whole section on Express, as well as Andrew Mead's course has some on Express, and of course this book right here, that should get you going. Now, Pluralsight has a path for Node.js, but it isn't like the most, you know, structured path. I would look into it, getting started, uh, learning to program, you could probably skip that if you've been programming for some time. But uh, NPM Playbook is definitely something you should look at. NPM is the Node Package Manager. You're going to be using that all the time. And if you get into React, you'll still be using that. It's a great course. And, you know, there's there's a bunch of them here. I'll go ahead and share some of my favorite. And some of them aren't even in here. Uh, but, you know, pick and choose. If you're not getting something, you can go ahead and go back. Like, some of these courses are really complex on Node.js in uh, Pluralsight. And hard to follow along with. But I have found some good ones here. So let's go ahead and look into that. Node application patterns is great. It shows you different patterns that are used to complete different tasks. Definitely a good thing uh, here. And you can see the ratings are, are very high for Rob. So good job, Rob. Um, you know, and if, if you're 
you know, getting um, kind of hung up on some of this grunt stuff that people don't use too much anymore, you can go ahead and um, do pretend to code is what I call it. Make believe. Sometimes just going through some of this stuff and, and visualizing it can, can be enough. Um, they actually have a specific course for that, and we will get to that in just a minute here. Introduction to Node.js from Pluralsight is something that you should definitely look into. It is fairly old, so some of these things are going to be outdated. But the underlying information is still good. However, I wouldn't be taking this information and then directly going into a project. It would be great to supplement my learning. And that's why there are so many resources. Now, let me share with you one of my favorite types of um, resources Pluralsight has. It's a really great course. This is a play by play. This is pretty cool stuff. They talk with an expert and they go ahead and do a project in real time. I wouldn't necessarily call these things um, like courses, but more like, you know, kind of like watching someone do a sport or something. It's, it's really cool. And they talk with someone there and you can see all sorts of things happen. Like, <laughs> like this guy, uh, Sam, he, he doesn't know how to do for loops because he's done for each. Now, yes, he knows how to do for loops, but he couldn't remember the syntax. And it's just like, yes, yes, I'm not the only person that has to look up uh, syntax. And he looked it right up on W3C schools. So people sometimes badmouth them, but Sam went straight there for for loops. That was awesome. Actually, let me go ahead and show you what some of this stuff looks like because it's just so different from the other courses. Hi, I'm John Pop, and I'm a Pluralsight author. Hi, I'm Sam Ardioli. I'm a Solutions Engineer. Cool. We're today going to look at some code that Sam's written. Uh, we both know Node, but he's come up with a really cool way to kind of build a Node application with Express and Redis and Mongo, right? Yeah. And uh, we're going to get some feedback from each other and figure out kind of, is this the right way to build these things? Yeah. Well, there you go. There are a few resources that get you on your way to learning Node.js and Express. They have really helped me out. And, you know, it's, it's great to learn another skill to add to your bag of tricks. Uh, because of this, I am able to now take front end development and, you know, something that I can see into something that I can start to interact with. And I'm actually starting to use it in production now, building an actual application using the tools that I learned online from these online resources. So definitely check it out. Of course, hit up different resources like Stack Overflow, Google, and uh, YouTube. But um, if you have any other courses that you've taken that you'd like to share, by all means, let us know in the comments. If you have any questions or concerns, of course, let us know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Keep on learning.